It sometimes happens that you are given the solutions to an equation and asked to find the equation that gave those solutions. And another word for solutions is roots. So roots is another word for solutions. And the solutions to a quadratic equation are also the x-intercepts of, of the quadratic function of the parabola. So if you are given a parabola and you are shown the x-intercepts, those things are the same as the solutions to the equation equal to zero, which means the same thing as the roots. Okay, so if we just look at some examples, number one, find an equation that has roots x equals to 3 and x equals negative 4. So those were the final solutions to the equation, x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 4. So if we just think about what the previous step of that equation would have looked like, to get x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 4, we would have had two binomials multiplied together whose product is 0. So x is equal to 3 must have come from a binomial of x minus 3 because when we make x minus 3 equal to 0, we add 3 to both sides and it gives us x is equal to 3. If x is equal to negative 4, the bracket must have been x plus 4. And now to find the equation that gave those roots, we simply need to multiply the brackets out. So we're doing the process in reverse. x times positive 4 is positive 4x, minus 3x is just positive 1x, and negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. It's also important to remember that there are more than this it's possible to have more than one equation that has the roots x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 4. This is just one of the equations that has those particular solutions. Okay, number 2, m equals negative 3 over 2 is a root. Okay, so remember a root is a solution of the equation am squared minus 5m minus 12 is equal to 0. Find the value of a and the other root. Okay, so we know that m, one of the answers to the equation is negative 3 over 2. So if we've got am squared minus 5m minus 12 is equal to 0, we can substitute negative 3 over 2 in place of m. Okay, so negative 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4, so that gives us 9 over 4a plus 15 over 2 minus 12 is equal to 0. And if we add 15 over 2 minus 12 and move it across to the other side, we get 9 over 2. You can check that on your calculator. So we get 9 over 4a is equal to 9 over 2. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 4, so that gives us 9a is equal to 18. So therefore, a is equal to 2. Now that we found a, we can do the second part of the, of the question. We found the value of a, now we need to find the other root. So instead of am squared minus 5m minus 12, we know that the equation is 2m squared minus 5m minus 12 is equal to 0. Because negative 3 over 2 is one of the roots of the equation, we know that 2m plus 3 must have been a bracket, because if you equate 2m plus 3 to 0 and you solve for m, you get m to be negative 3 over 2. Okay, So we know that 2m plus 3 must have been a factor if negative 3 over 2 was one of our solutions. So the second bracket, 2m times m gives you 2m squared, and positive 3 times negative 4 gives you negative 12. So therefore, you get m to be negative 3 over 2, which we already know, and the other root of the equation is m is equal to positive 4. Please pause the video here and try the examples in your homework book. Number one, find an equation that has roots y equals negative 1 and y equals negative 4. So we know we had the product of two binomials equal to 0 that gave us those solutions. We must have had y plus 1 and y plus 4. If we multiply that out, we get y squared plus 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. And that is a possible equation that gives us those roots. Number two, b equals a third is a root of the equation 6b squared plus mb minus 5 is equal to 0. 
find the value of m and the other root. So there's two jobs to do here. We first need to substitute b with a third in order to solve for m. Equal to zero. So that gives us um, six times a third all squared is two over three because a third squared is a ninth, and six ninths simplifies to two thirds, plus a third m minus five is equal to zero. So we get a third m, two thirds minus five, if you work that on your calculator, is negative 13 over three. So if we move it to the other side, we get positive 13 over three, multiply both sides by three, and that gives you m is equal to 13. So our equation, will be 6b squared plus 13b minus 5 is equal to 0. We need to find the other root, so we need to factorize. We already know that a third is a solution, so that means 3b minus 1 must have been a factor, because if you equate 3b minus 1 to 0 and solve for b, you get b to be a third. That means our second factor must be 2b, because 3b times 2b is 6b, and positive 5. So therefore, b is equal to a third, or b is equal to negative 5 over 2. So negative 5 over 2 is the other root.